Hey everybody, how are you doing today? Uh, welcome to Fishbowl Stand Up Mic Night. Uh, we got a few special announcements here. Uh, first of all, welcome to our first mic as an official Mizzou Award. But now we're here, um, and it's very fun. Um, but we also just got back from winter break, um, or as I like to call it, just a very frustrating like month and a half. Um, my parents haven't really like conceptualized the fact that I've developed like a personality away from them. <laughs> so whenever I go home, they treat me like I'm still a teenager, even though over the break I fully turned 20. Um, <laughs> Uh, thank you. Uh, one example was uh, over the break, I went with my dad to New York. First time to New York, I was very excited. Um, and the first time going to a new place kind of lends itself to a lot of pho like photography. Um, a lot of your parents going like, oh, go over there, smile, like pose. And I'm like, oh, I don't always want to do that. And it's okay in places like Times Square or the Statue of Liberty, you know, and everything's like fine. <laughs> But when your dad is telling you to pose and smile the 9/11 in front of the 9/11 memorial, um, it gets a little weird. <laughs> and I said, "No, Dad, I'm not going to do that." And he just accused me of being a moody teen. And I was like, "Some places are fine for photography, but this one feels like a little bit of a morally gray area that I am not willing to enter." <laughs> Another thing that he does is this uh, thing I like to say, uh, it's called Maddie is always wrong. And it's um, where me, Maddie, um, has canonically been wrong uh, in every decision she's ever made in her life. Um, one thing I would like to point out in that little flaw of logic though, if I was wrong about everything I've ever done in my life, I would not be alive right now. Just how it works. Now I'm gonna get hit you guys with a new one, that's why I'm using my little phone right now. <laughs> so as I've mentioned, I'm 20 now, and that's practically middle-aged. Um, I've been thinking a lot about it because now I finally have like a good grip on like my mortality. Um, I give myself to around 70. I think that's probably a good estimate of how long I'm going to live in my present state. Um, but in order to hopefully extend that, um, I've been going to the doctor and trying to figure out why uh, my organs don't work. <laughs> um, to preface the situation, I'm a theater major who earned a C in high school biology, um, so I don't really know how the body works, um, why it's not working, or how to even make it work like it should. Um, so when I went to the doctor, I naively kind of thought like, hey, you know, uh, they're going to take my height, ask me a few questions, I'm going to lie to them about the drugs I do, and then they're going to give me some pills, and then the whole thing will be over. Um, and I was kind of correct. Uh, they did ask me questions. I did lie about the drugs I do. Um, but they kind of made a request of me <laughs> that I thought was a little strange. Um, Y'all ever had to pee in a cup? <laughs> yes. yes! Sit with that for a second. Conceptualize it how fucking disgusting it is. Um, now imagine that, except having a grown man hand you a jug um, the size of maybe that ketchup dispenser over there in the shack um, and tell you to fill that with piss um, over a period of 24 hours. <laughs> That's a lot to unpack, let me help you. Um, first, you might be asking yourself, if this jug is huge, how do you pee in it, you fucking liar? And what I will say to that is you're not supposed to pee directly in the jug. That would be too easy. What you're supposed to do is use an additional tool, uh, again, a grown man handed me in this doctor's office, um, called a measuring cup that attaches to your toilet. Uh, and you pee in that, and then you pour it into the jug. Um, <laughs> My second thing that I'm kind of ruminating on now is how much um, a normal person is supposed to pee in a day? Um, because I'm kind of thinking, and I'm pretty sure even if my bladder is at full fucking capacity, I think I could probably fill that thing up to maybe like halfway. Um, but he requested a full jug, <laughs> so I'm not really sure I can deliver on that. Um, my third thing is, I don't have a car. 
Um, I don't have a driver's license. I don't, you know, have a way to transport myself other than the shuttle and Uber. So, part of the condition of this whole jug thing is I have to bring it fucking back. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so, to, to give you an idea of how this is gonna go, so either I have to pick up this pee jar and drag it all the way on my shuttle, not hit it at all, because <laughs> it can't fit in my backpack, and then continue to lug it across campus all the way to the student health center from like right fucking over there, um, and just let everybody witness me like that, or I need to pay like 10 to 15 fucking dollars to rent a car for my pee jar um, to bring it over to the hospital and deliver it directly toward, uh, to the source. Um, so considering all that uh, wrapped up, um, I think I'm just going to accept that I'm just not gonna live that long. <laughs> and that's my set, ladies and gentlemen.